tucked away in the picturesque setting of the Lake District is the Damson Dean. Hello. A typical three-star holiday hotel. What name is it, please? Uh, Mr. Farnworth, Mr. and Mrs. Farnworth. It has a suave owner. I would say that we cater for Mondeo Man. We cater for the ordinary visitor. A creative chef. Hot it off. Would you want to dip your cock in it? Me neither. That means it's hot enough. An ambitious manager. I have got somebody waiting. I have given you the list. Yeah, but so check those rooms. Rooms. And like any quintessentially English hotel, the staff are mainly from Eastern Europe. So każde jebane wesele jest tak samo. They ordered some special bread for me. Rye bread. Right. Rye. Right. No tea. Rye. Right. What is this rye bread? I don't know. Rye bread. Together, they cater for the great British public. This is nowhere near the light of room there in our house. Who come here for a break, bringing all their baggage with them. If you say that once more, Love right, you. it's over. That's it. Every day, these two worlds collide. Staff and guests. Room six are complaining about you this morning. With manager Wayne caught in the middle. We're smoking outside. Absolutely. Right, come with me. Twit. Upstairs. Excuse me, there's somebody in our room using our shower. And downstairs. Either she has to go or I have to go. Hey, Moss. This is life in a British hotel. It's never been seen before. Kiss. Checking in this week. Daniel has decided the hotel is the perfect place to propose. If we could just have spot one person maybe down there with a bottle of champagne. Dead something. on eight o'clock. Will girlfriend Liz feel the same? If it's raining, we just go for a swim, eh? Yes. yes. Sound good? For the Palmers... How well do I know my wife? 49 years of married life are under threat. How do you feel about Friday? Friday, what's happening on Friday? And new boy Amos starts to learn about hotel life. If you spill something, it's be called a spillage. Spillages. Yeah. S P double A A G there for you. Um, um, we need to get up. The day starts much like any other, with manager Wayne waking up in his caravan in the hotel garden, which he shares with his dog, Fly. Being in this job that I do, Thank you, my darling. and having the opportunity to people watch as much as I do. Did you not put the shower screen across properly? I'm still always surprised at what's kind of behind the facade of people who um, come into the hotel. Shall I iron that shirt again, do you reckon? I've met some bizarre people, and I once met a family that told me they could um, see dead people, and they've seen them everywhere. And um, they then went on to say that they felt that I had the gift. Go. They asked me if I wanted them to show me how I could speak to and see dead people. Why would I want to do that? I'm a hotel manager. 
I have enough of a problem with the live-in. Take a seat anywhere you like. Oh, okay, thank you. Help yourself to the buffet table, okay? And the hot food will come down. Do you reckon you chill coffee? Coffee, please. Coffee. Beneath the guest bedrooms are the staff quarters, where the hotel's foreign workers live all year round. The latest of which is Amos. We have a new chap called Amos, who is a Romanian guy. He tries really hard. Now, I don't think he has a natural um, ability. Sana no bitch. Oh, Campbell. In that moment, I, I feel strange because I don't know what I have to do, you know? It's not, it's not a really nice fe feeling when, when you know we are not a go enough good and everybody is, is in the top and you are in the bottom. But yeah, do me Would you have to, Amos? Hey. Right, do you want to stand and then wait for a customer then? Hey. And then attack? Excuse me, would you like a tea or coffee? Tea. And the coffee? Yeah. Now, yesterday they ordered some special bread for me. Rye bread. Right. Rye. Right. Rye. Right. Rye. Right. No, no tea. Rye. No. Man, right bread. White, rye bread. Fry bread. Rye bread. Fry bread. No, it's rye bread. Oh. Evelina, how I can explain you how. What right. is this rye bread? Right, I don't know. She asked me about rye bread. Know. She said it's a special bread. Fry bread. We do seem to find it difficult to employ British staff. One of the things that you have to consider, if you look at some of the houses within a three mile radius, you know, they're worth millions of pounds. The days are gone, I think, where, you know, some housewife is going to pop up for minimum wage to get a job as a waitress. Oi, oi. Gosha, the luggage from 28, the cases. The cases? Most of the staff vacancies are filled with Eastern Europeans, who often come just for the summer season. 28's going to 30. 28 to 30? Me? No! Are the cases from Wallace. 28, have they gone to 30? <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's like, give us a clue, isn't it? So it's fry bread or rye bread? Rye. We have a problem because uh, the cook is Polish and it's very hard with communication. And he don't understand very good. He said fry bread and I said no fry bread, show it's a rye bread. If I stand there, you show me the bread with the label and I'll tell you which one it is. Would that be easier? Okay, come, come on. <laughs> is this one? This bread is fry, this is fry bread. Yeah. And we have a bread like this. No, they ordered it yesterday from me. Yes. Special bread. I, I will ask to reception, okay? I will ask. Yvonne. It's, it's Yvonne. Yes. Yvonne? Yvonne knows. Dan Dean, good morning. Yvonne speaking. Right. All oh, right. Yes, yes, yes. Well, we've got a very nice garden. There's like a, a little bridge that crosses over the pond, and that area is really, really pretty. You know, that might be a nice spot. Sure. Well, well, you could do that or give, give us the nod type of thing and we could, you know, have it out there on the table for you um, in a nice bucket. That might be quite a good idea, mightn't it? Yeah. Yes. Just maybe come and sort of see me quietly and then let me know what you want to do and we'll get it all set up for you. OK. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Bye bye. Are you all right, Amos? Uh, yes, we have a problem in the kitchen. Right. A guest asked about the uh, white bread. 
white, white. rye, rye, rye bread. bread. Yes, 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 yes. And the chef, he don't know. He yet. doesn't know what it is. <laughs> oh dear. And here is vegetables. No, she's potatoes. Asking, she's, she's asking for rye bread. He mustn't have been able to get any. I will tell her nobody order rye bread. No, I... say that cook ordered the bread. But they, they didn't they didn't send it and you apologize. Mm -hmm. All right, and we'll try and get some today for oh, us. I feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. All right. Uh, we have a big problem. It didn't happen to you. <laughs> the chef. He he ordered yesterday. But the the right bed didn't arrive. Yes, they didn't okay. send us. Well, thank you very much. I'm sorry, I apologize for this. And thank him for me. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you very you much. Also. For me, it's a big chance for uh, for a new life, for a better life. For uh, for me, it's like a new start, you know, for another life. Right. I just hope. I just hope it's a nice day because he wants to propose in the garden. This chap. Oh. Mr. Lee to see Yvonne on arrival wants to propose in the garden. Okay. Driven up from Essex. She's come away for a short break, unaware that Daniel has other plans. Hello. Yeah, we've got uh, a reservation. Her name is Lee. Mr. Lee. I think we spoke on the phone, Mr. Lee, yes. didn't we? Yes. Um, I think it probably is ready for you. I'll just go up and check, though. Okay. You get to a point in, in your relationship and you just feel, you know, the time is right. And it's sort of been building and building a lot more the feeling that I want to. It's probably been probably, Christ, probably about six months to, to a year that I've been thinking about doing it. It's been leading up to this point. I think it's going to be the walk down. I'll hear my pulse racing and it's, it's all going to hit me. I just want to make it a big surprise, just do the traditional thing, keep it as a bit of a secret and down on one knee and, and propose. You think Liz suspects anything? No, I don't think so. I don't think she, she really has any sort of idea. What if she says no? Um, devastation really, I don't, I don't want to think about it, I really don't want to think about it. Do you think he owns it or just runs it? He probably just runs it. Mm. We're not trying to be one of those high-class, highfalutin hotels that just provides every luxury, because we know we can't do that. I, I, I would say that we cater uh, for Mondeo man. We cater for the ordinary visitor. Jonathan Denby owns four hotels in the lakes and keeps a close eye on how things are being arranged. Okay, I'm going to put you a personal charge, right? Put a flower. <laughs> Because um, Wayne, being a man, doesn't have the feeling. Okay. Just make sure the water's changed every day sure. and put some sugar in with the water. Right. The way that I like the hotel to be run is that I like the managers to be there on the floor 
and uh, Wayne, I think, is perfect for this role. Have you tried Silic Bang? I haven't tried. It's brilliant. Is it? <laughs> yeah. See you Ta-da. I deal with all the wages, the accounts, the marketing, the health and safety, the environmental health, the policies such as how much we're going to charge or where we're going to advertise. All the things that might take Wayne's eye off the ball. Quick. You play football or you manage the football team. You can't do both. Now, either I'm managing the hotel or I'm working the hotel. It's not making the best use of a person's skills. Does it frustrate you? Oh, gosh, yeah, yeah. It's very, I find it very frustrating. Very frustrating. Hey, boss. Once those cops are done, you can then bring the chairs in from the bar for me, please. The red chairs. New boy Amos has recently arrived from Romania with high hopes of a career in the hotel trade. What are you doing? Would you like me to kill you? No. We what did I to say? Bring, uh, red chairs. From the bar. From the bar? I've only just spent all day putting them things in the chapel. And so many. Okay, I'll be put back from the bar. Goodbye. <laughs> See, look, 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 that's the problem when you're dragging it, look. You've ripped up all my carpet now. Stop, stop, don't continue to drag it, leave him. Now, take two or three off and put them through. You know, you know, take, stop, stop, now listen to me. Take two or three off and carry them through. Yeah, and I want the white serviettes now, please, on the top shelf. This is good. No, do you think that's a serviette? I'll try again. Do you know what a serviette is? I'm thinking you don't. They should be in there. White ones, top shelf. White, same as the tablecloths. Okay, that square. That coffee machine and table, I want it brought over here. I'm general assistant here. I try to do the best and to, to make everybody happy because if my boss is happy, I, I will be happy, you know? Patty turkey cheesecake. Here is salad cheese, sim dead cheese. I'm sorry? Sim dead cheese. Smoked cheese, Smoke. salmon, toffee Do pudding. Toffee pudding. If you could just fill in the highlighted areas for me, that would be lovely. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Testing. I met Julie when she was 14. Two years later, we were married. Julie goes out and she comes back in. I'm always happy when I see her come back in the drive. There's, there's that little spark is still there. She's here. Now, would you like to dine this evening with us? Oh, yes. It starts at 6.30. Whoa! Oh, 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 dear. Oh, little dog. <laughs> so nosy, aren't you? We never go far away from each other, never. We're just there, we're together. We're like two bookends. Now, I need him here. He's part of me. He's like one of my hands, I suppose, and... I can't just imagine him not being here at all. Earl Grey? Anything, as long as it's a cup of tea. You can have Earl Grey, Earl Grey, Earl Grey or Earl Grey. Well, I think it might as well be Earl Grey then. Right, got you. The Palmers have been married for 49 years. But recent events have put their future together at risk. He's not in very good health. He's diagnosed with bladder cancer and on Friday it's his big day as to know whether this treatment that he's been having is 
working. A bit apprehensive now, it's getting nearer, ever nearer, but uh, but you're feeling quite good about Friday. it. Friday's just another day. <laughs> to, it's not really, you didn't really think that. Yeah, I don't really think that. Mm. Friday's another day. Yeah, well, not to me. I'll um, be fine. I might go and see if I can have something to eat, what they do for Oh, right, lunch. I know you've had yours, Yeah, but, but I can eat again. I can always eat. Unless we had one and then I could just have a little bit. Oh, no. No sharing. don't really want to just stay here, though, all the time. No. I want to do something. I don't yeah. want to stay yeah, here all and afternoon. Go and walk in the rain. Yeah, OK. Don't be so rude. <laughs> I want to do something, or, or go swimming, or do something. I don't want to be doing nothing. OK, well, we'll go and go swimming. swimming. We'll go and see what the rain's doing. If it's raining, we just go for a swim, eh? Yes. 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 Sound good? Oh, it's getting even heavier. Oh, my goodness. This is your bag, it's very, very heavy. Go, Amos, go! £11,000. No deal. Deal or no deal? Oh, dear. You don't know what to do. Thank you, deal. Oh, he's took it. Good uh, lad. What would you have done? You would have uh, gone right to the bitter end, wouldn't I you? I would, yeah. 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 Yeah, you've been married to me long enough to know that, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> Don't be Betty. Ah, bad dog, bad dog. Get off. Get a life. July, and you need a wet proof. It's not right, is it? Housekeeping. Yvonne. Yes. It's just beggar's belief that nobody's noticed is dead. <laughs> Don't you hide me. There's been a thing of dead flowers in the woodland for like one week. Tom, have we done yet? There has been a dead flower display for one week and no one's moved it. Nie będzie tam nikogo na cały tydzień, czy coś, nie wiem. A kazała nam zrobić Woodlanda. A zaaraj. Ja, yeah, Woodland. A, to tu dziewczynkę sobie poderwałeś? Yeah, I think we need to make sure the drain isn't blocked first, because it's all now going down the stairs. Tak, co on robi? Have I got to do everything? <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to get up and out and we're going to go yep. up there. Okay, so you want home cooked ham and a little bit of mustard, yeah? Shall I get some chips as well, just in case? No, I don't want anything else because I've got dinner. Um, are we having dinner here? Because she didn't seem to think that we were. Yeah, no, I did book it then. I'll, I'll go and check. Wait, Danny, if it's expensive, don't. We can go to, huh? we'll go to a pub somewhere. Well, sorry, I'll go and see what she says. Can we have the home cooked ham, but can I have a little bit of mustard? Not too mustard. much. Yeah, not too much. Just a little bit, yeah. All right. So. Hmm. Uh, home cooked ham? Yep. Yes. to the tradition of going down on one knee, but I've got a picture that I've actually made up. It's, um, I'm into photography in, in only a you know, minor amateur thing. But I've had a photo done of, of myself obviously dressed up, writing with a light pen, so obviously it captures the, the will you marry me in, in written in light, as wrapped up that she thinks is a present for my uncle's 60th birthday next weekend. So if we go from there... This is the picture that I need to... Um, 
bring it drop off to reception right. that I need to that's because uh, for the proposal later on right uh, I think the other lady knows about it I need to talk to someone really about getting it down to the um, down to the pond Hiya. Hiya. I don't know how much you know about the um, proposal down at the, the pond right. later on, um, but this is the photo I, ne I needed to take down there. Um, well, we're having dinner at seven, so it'll probably be about eight o'clock, something like right, that. Right, okay. Um, no I was just wondering if we could just have like, one person maybe down there with a bottle of champagne and, th and this. Um, if Dead on eight o'clock. Um, okay, well, if we say eight o'clock then, it should be, okay. enough, should be enough time. Lovely. I'll be here, I'll be around. Okay. Right. No um, worries. With the tray, not on, not on the head. Tray, full tray. But this Doesn't matter. Come after, eh? <gasps> Whoa! Sorry. Whoa! A week into his job at the Dams and Dean, a new boy Amos is working hard to impress uh. manager Wayne. Anyway, look. Yeah. Don't stand by the door. Are you doing your NVQ? Yes. Let's spend half an hour doing your NVQ. Okay, that's great. You also have a responsibility to make sure that the area that you work in is safe. So you're responsible for cleaning up and your own and maintenance. You're responsible for cleaning up spillages. Spillage. That's it. If you spill something, it's be called a spillage. Yeah, spillages. Yeah. S P double A A G A S. What sort of emergencies could occur front of house? People could trip, people could fall, they mm -hmm. could bloody drop dead of a heart attack when they get their bill, couldn't they? You know, mm -hmm. um, they could have a nosebleed. I love the Lake District, and I would like to remain here. But you know, even when you're the general manager, you still need to be motivated, and you still need to continue your um, self development. Describe the procedures of safe, For safe lifting. lifting. Yes. You must keep your knees bent and your back straight. Knees bent. Do you bend. understand? You drop down on the floor like this and then lift it like this. Yes. Move. Bend. And your back straight, yeah? GH. Yeah. If I fail, if I lost my job, this will be quite difficult for me. I'm afraid to lose. I'm afraid for my back life, you know? I think it's a good opportunity to change. Everything is possible. Under this sky, everything is possible. It's like bloody autumn. You better run. After months of secret planning, there's only a few hours till Daniel has to propose to girlfriend Liz. We've been together, it'll be four years in January. We don't have time to spend together as one, you know, because I live at my mum's and he lives at his mum's. So it'll be really nice for us to just sit down, relax, we can chat about what we want to chat about and not have our mums in the background. Got a lot, I bet they've got a lot of wildlife around here. Got bears and stuff. No, I don't think they've got bears, Daniel. 
think it's nice just to do this, aren't it? Yep. Just the two, two of us. us. We can make it if we try. Oh, I thought I'd be out longer, but the rain has driven me home. Oh, my God. <laughs> thunder and lightning and all sorts okay. out there. Mm. Oh, The, the, the lamp. The lamp. Do you want a fruit juice or something to start, or...? No, no, no. You're all right? I've got, yeah, oh. I've got a fruit juice. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no starter, one lamb. Yeah. Chef, he's a big lad. Go he's on. the guy that had the steak, the eggs and the beans last time. So tranquil, isn't it? Absolutely. Gorgeous. For the Palmers, their stay can't last long enough. When they get home, Brian will find out whether his final cancer treatment has worked. That shirt looks really nice. It's all shirt. Oh, hmm. Thank you very much for your compliment. That top looks really nice. It's all shirt. You've got your new shoes on? Yes. New knickers on. Marks and Spencers. <laughs> Mm. Oh, it's very, very nice. How do you feel about Friday? Friday? What's happening on Friday? I'm not even thinking about Friday. Mm. No. Well, what do you think? What do I think? I don't. I'm not thinking about it. All right, OK. I don't know. I keep trying to be positive with Julie because it's hard work for her. When you've got a a disease like I have, you obviously have to think that will will be will we be here this time next year? And if we wouldn't if we're not, what's gonna happen? Well, Julie's in a position now where she's she's fine, she's safe, but she won't cope very well on her own. She likes people around her. Um, so yes, I do think about it sometimes and I think if anything happened to me, I would like her to meet somebody else and, and be looked after. The rest that we need. Back to reality on Thursday. Yeah. We'll <coughs> see him a million miles away. Yeah. yeah. It's between Thank now you. and Thursday, yeah. so. Well, thank you. <laughs> no problem, eh? You can start getting ready. Yes. I'm not telling you to get ready. I'm asking. They seem quite a nice couple, don't they? In the office, there's a picture as well. See that bit there? I wonder. Yeah. But I think we should take all the, all this dead stuff off. Eccles here, look as well. I wish I'd have known I'd have had this piston thing painted today. He's definitely a hands-on manager, isn't he? He doesn't stand back and watch. to make sure that the one that you want to propose to and to marry is going to be the one that's going to be there forever. It's not all going to be a bed of roses. I can obviously see that. But she, she really is my world and I wouldn't want to be without her really. No would be a big hit, I think, if, if she did say no. I'm always late. Yeah. Just because they've got others to see, obviously. Am I right at the back? Yeah, fine. Yeah, it looks lovely. Dessert. So oh, I don't know that I can fit one in, but... Ooh. I think you'll have the fourth one down for you. How well do I know my wife? <laughs> fourth one down, yes? Ice Bailey's Parfait. Oh, go on then. I knew it. I, but I don't really want one. No, I, I think one. you do. Mm. George, where's my chocolate sponge? Big piece of chocolate sponge for him, do you remember? Nice big piece of chocolate sponge. 
I don't know, it's chocolate sponge or sticky toffee pudding. Doesn't sticky taste. toffee pudding. Hello. Are you ready to order? Yes, yeah. please. The creamy garlic mushroom and two of the steaks. What would you like to drink tonight? Could we have a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc? Thank you. Thank you. Where's the um, toilet from here? If you leave the restaurant, it's on your right side. We'll be back in a minute. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Did you order a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc? Yes. Thank you. Thanks. Ah, it's a baby. Look, on bridge. There. Wait for him. Oh, yeah. Can yeah, can you see him? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Pian lost his mum. I think we'll have to have a pond like that in our back garden. <laughs> I can't believe that we have been married for 49 years. No, I can't really. No. It doesn't seem that long, does it? Alright. Yeah, you're right. Good evening. Oh. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, hey, this looks nice, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> Cheers. Happy holiday. Mm. It's ready. Oh yeah. Should we open that door? Or the window? That's no, fine. If I could go and have a, have a wee. Of hey, course. Cool. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, I'll see you. Thank you. Thank you. We can take a bottle of wine down by the pond. It will be cold by now, eh? No. For real sleeping. Yeah. Go have a nice hair walk around the. Is nearly finished? Yes, yes thank lovely. Thank you. Right. Yeah, yes, lovely. thank you. Is it okay to take the wine down to the pond? No problem. Yeah. We no, finished no, dinner no. and they are going out here. Okay. We've got a young man going to propose to his girlfriend on the bridge. Oh, all right. There'll either be a splash where he pushes her over because she said no. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, it is this way, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be cold out here, though, Dan. No, it'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Did you have a nice dinner? Yeah, yeah we're just going to sit down by the pond, I think. Oh, have yeah. Some, have some uh, don't blame you. 
You'll have to see if you can see any of the fish on the bridge. If you look closely, you might see some. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> okay, let me try. I'm obviously lying. There's no fish in there. Oh, God, it's freezing. Are these down? There you go. Come with me. What? I have something for you. <sighs> A gift. Over here. Oh, what have you been doing? Yeah. Oh, thank you. I thought this was the um thingy. Open it up, see the bubble wrap off. Elizabeth? <laughs> oh, you got to stand there, you got to stand there, you got to stand there. I've got to do the bit, I've got to do the proper bit. Come on. <laughs> you got to stand there, you got to stand there for two seconds, two seconds. I've got to go down on one knee, hold on, stand, stand there. Stand there. Elizabeth? Will you marry me? Of course, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You all right? I'll take that from you. I'll put that down there. I'm going to drop this ring in a minute. There you go. I'm going to get back up. Don't drop it. There you go. That's it. I take it that was a yes then. Yeah. I thought there might be some tears. Yeah. <laughs> you Thank start, you very much. You've started me off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, that is fantastic. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Quite nerve wracking. Want to come through? Thank God she said yes. You know, and then I oh, popped the champagne for them and had to go off. You know. I was more upset than her. But I like that. I like that um, part of my job. I think, oh, yeah, lovely. And I was very... Um, I feel very honoured to be part of those moments in people's lives, you know. Yeah, Danny, propose to me. <laughs> <laughs> you unite. Tell me that you unite. Did you do that? Why did you? I thought it was going to be Christmas. Did you? Well, I'm glad you said yes anyway. Stupid, what did you think I was going to say? Hello, buddy. Have you ever been in love? Oh God, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have lots of times. I love you, Daniel. I've been married once, been engaged four times. It's about it now, though. I think as people get older, we all have, have a lot more baggage to carry around with us. And sometimes it's whether you want to um, take on board other people's baggage. Right. Let's go on back to reality. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They've got wheels on, Brian. Yeah, it's okay. Right. Got it. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. Thanks for Thank you. Yes, it has Take care of yourselves. See you in the winter. Okay. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. We'll do. Okay. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you. Bye. 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 This was his last chance. Thursday night was horrendous. Sleepless night. And um, we got up the following morning. And Brian never wanted me to go with him.
I said to him, the minute that you come out of the hospital doors, you bring me straight away. And he did, and he said, I'm clear, absolutely clear. <gasps> oh dear, I can't tell you how I felt. In fact, it, and my kids have still got a dad. It's like somebody giving you a new lease of life. So we've already now started making plans for our golden wedding. Um, we've also booked a cruise. I love every second of every day. And so, what makes, when am I the happiest? Now. In a word, now. Hi there. These are for the tables. Mm -hmm. But you must replace the water, please. Yeah. And put some sugar in the water. Sugar? 